What's going on everyone? Checking in. I'm going on a new ride tomorrow morning in Wyoming, going to the Bighorn National Forest, going to ride on the northern side. So I talked to a few guys on this Facebook group I'm a part of. I've never ridden down there, so I don't know what to expect. And they said to ride on the northern side instead of the southern. Apparently the southern has more road-like trails and the northern has more trails for the side-by-sides, ATVs, and dirt bikes. The plan is to camp there for the night. I don't know if I'm truck camping at a campsite or I'm camping on the top of the mountain. Wish I kind of knew because if I was truck camping, I'd bring the enclosed trailer. If I'm camping on the top of the mountain, I'd bring the open. Anyways, I'm going to bring the open trailer up there and hope for the best. Uh, brought my tent, bringing basically everything I have. It's uh, not super far from me. It's about four to five hours southeast of where I am in Montana. Anyways, I'll check in tomorrow. We're going to load this thing up now and hopefully we'll get some good footage. See you guys.
That ride was absolutely fantastic. I had a ton of fun in the Bighorns. Uh, the footage wasn't that great. I ended up leaving my batteries in my truck, so I barely got anything. And when we got to the campsite, I had three hours left of daylight and we weren't riding the next day. So my main focus was really to get some riding in. So next video, I have a, a lot more commentary in it. We'll kind of get into some details, show you guys around a little more instead of just being mounted on the dash the whole time. Realized I really need two GoPros to do this. Uh, but we're, we'll slowly grow and get better with this. Super excited to finally start this channel and see where it goes. So I don't know if you guys are super familiar with riding out west. Back home in Maryland, when we went to a ride egg place, a track or trails, we drove up for the weekend generally to PA, and you had to pay $50 and you got to ride all weekend. Out here, you get passes. So in Montana, we have a off-road vehicle pass, and same with Wyoming. So getting down to Wyoming, uh, I had to buy one before I went out on the trails. It was actually kind of a pain to get. So I called around to the local like DMV in the area and they actually said they didn't give them out. So I had to call, they told me to go to some uh, was Bighorn Co-op in Basin, Wyoming. So I got there, uh, I actually called ahead of time the day before they said they could do it. So I got there the next day and they said the manager was out and he was in Grable. So Grable was on a, in a town that was actually on our way to the Bighorn. So drove through there to that Bighorn co-op and they still couldn't give it to me. They said, oh, you can't do it. You're going to have to drive back to Basin to go to the courthouse where they'll do it. I said, you can try the grocery store. So I called the grocery store. They couldn't do it, but they told me to go to O'Reilly's. So all the parts stores, it seems like do that. So that's a good tip. If you guys go down there, uh, go to a parts store, get the vehicle or the offer a vehicle sticker there. Super easy. It's $15. It's uh, good. At least, well, mine's kind of towards the end now. It dies in December, but it's good for a year. And $15, you can ride anywhere in the state on those trails. It's really worth it. And also grab a map while you're there. So where I was in Grable, they had a map of the Bighorns. I'm sure depending on where you are, they'll have a map of the local trails. So once we got there, we uh, stopped at the North Tongue Campground. It's the red X in the map up above. I'll uh, drop a link below to all these maps that you can get for Wyoming. So you can download them, check them out. You can pull up all the different trails at each place. It's pretty cool. Uh, it was a really easy campground. You basically pull in, they already had a fire ring set up and a picnic table and all that stuff. Uh, I didn't really search around too much. The goal was to ride and we had no time left in the day. So set up camp real quick and uh, went out on the trails. Overall, I really, really did like the place and I'll definitely be back. So let's get on with the review. So first thing in the review is difficulty. Honestly, the trails that I rode on were not difficult at all, although I didn't ride nearly like any of them, probably a tenth of the whole place. So I'm sure there are more difficult trails out there, but I really didn't find it. Second thing is camping access. From what I saw, you can bring a camper there, no problem. You can bring uh, your truck and tent camp. And there's also a ton of campsites that are already kind of set up in the mountains that we drove by. Basically, they have a fire ring, you know, made out of rocks that you can stop and throw a tent up at if you want to kind of be back in the woods somewhere. So I thought that was really cool. It kind of gives you all different options of camping if you want to, you know, stay more you know, closer to the truck. Back, they had a bathroom there too. Uh, you want to bring your camper or you want to 
camp in the middle of the woods, you can do anything there. Third thing in my review is what you can bring. That's always really important to me. I like to know what I can bring before I head anywhere. That's kind of my research on this map and from the guys on Facebook. You can bring ATVs, uh, dirt bikes, and of course side-by-sides. You just have to pay attention on these maps. They'll uh, list different colors of the trails. You have to pay attention because you can get in some trouble if you're on the wrong trail on the wrong size machine. Other than that, I didn't find a, or really have a problem with finding side-by-side -side trails. There was a ton of them. They were really fun. They weren't highway trails at all. It was off-road stuff. Uh, the video footage isn't that great of it, but I'd suggest anybody to go back, go down there and uh, give it a shot. I know I'll be back and I'll get some better footage next time. Stay tuned for the next trail ride. Really excited to kind of get this channel up and rolling. We'll do some probably some parts installs on the Razor when I buy some things right now. Basically, it's a stock 19 XP4 Turbo. Has probably close to 600 miles now on it. I've been doing a lot of riding since I got it two months ago. Uh, the only thing I've done is front and rear windshield from UTV Zilla. They're awesome. I absolutely recommend them to anybody. Uh, and side mirrors and a rear view mirror. And I think that's it. It's been awesome. I put some toolboxes in the back. Maybe I'll do a little toolbox review. So I'll probably do some parts reviews on this channel. Of course, riding like we just did here. And that's pretty much it. I mean, anything else you guys can think of or want to see, let me know. We'll probably get into some dirt bike stuff and some ATV things as well. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button below.